sallallahu aleyhi ve sellem Efendimiz Hazretleri'nin aziz bak münevver mütahar ruh şerilerine salavat şerifi getirenlerin ahir ve akıbetleri hayır olan. Ales vazge ve tahiret evladı Resul-i Sabah bin Efendilerimizin ve sayrı ilaz yanı ve Resul-i Fiyan Hazretleri'nin ervaha şeriflerine pirimiz Bilal Habeşi radıyallahu anh Efendimizin şeyhimiz sahibi Seyf Şehabdül Kerimler Kudüs'e Rabbani Hazretleri'nin ve alel husus bu caminin bayinisi ve bugüne kadar içerisinden gelmiş geçmiş iman meclisin kayınlarının ve kahve ehli imanın ervahı için Allah rızası için el Fatiha Euzubillahimineşşeytanirracim Bismillahirrahmanirrahim İnnallaha ve melaikete ve insanuna ala nebi ya eyvellezine amunu sallu aleyhi ve sellem o teslima Allahümme salli ala seyyidina Muhammedin ve ala ali seyyidina Muhammed Allahu ekber Allahu ekber Allahu ekber Allahu ekber Eşhedü en la ilahe illallah Eşhedü en la ilahe illallah Eşhedü enne Muhammeden Resulullah Eşhedü enne Muhammeden Resulullah Hayy aleyhissalam Hayy aleyhissalam Hayy Elhamdülillah, elhamdülillah, elhamdülillahi rabbil alemin ve salatu ve selamu ala rasulina Muhammedin ve ala alihi ve sahbihi ecmain. Nehmedullah ta'ala ve nestağfiru ve neşhuru en la ilahe illallah vahdehu la şerike leh. Neşhuru enne seyyidina Muhammedin abduhu ve habibuhu ve resuluhu sallallahu aleyhi ve ala alihi ve zvacihi ve sahbihi tabi khurrara raşidin mahadim min ba'di. Huzirin emniyeti ala tahkik, ahuzuzan min fa'lamati khulafa rezili ala tahkik. Umar al-Mu'minin, Hazreti Ebu Bakr, Umar Osman ve Ali ve ala baki sahbet tabi'in vidvanullah ta'ala aleyhi mecma'in. Ya eyyuhal mu'minul hazirun, yutakullah ta'ala ve te inna allaha me'l lezine teke ve'l lezine hum muhsinun. Elhamdülillahi rabbil alemin. Ve salatu ve selamu ala eşrafi ve anbiya mursalin. Sayyidina Mevlana Muhammedin ve ala alihi ve sahbihi ecma'in. All praises are due to Allah, Lord of the universes. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. To him belongs whosoever is in the heavens and the earth. And those who dwell in his presence are not too proud to worship him, nor are they ever weary of his service. They glorify him night and day and do not slacken. Or have men chosen for themselves ilahs from the earth who can raise the dead? If there were in the heavens and the earth other gods besides Allah, then verily the heavens and the earth would have been ruined. Glorified be Allah, the Lord of the throne, above what they describe. He will not be questioned for his acts, but they will be questioned for theirs. Sadaqallah al-Azim. May peace and blessings be upon the most beloved to Allah, Sayyidina Muhammad wasalam, the seal of prophethood, the imam of the messengers, the master of the first and the last, the grandfather of Hassan and Hussein, our support in the two worlds and upon his nobly fa noble family and blessed companions, especially upon the four Khulafa Rashidin, Hazrat Abu Bakr Siddiq, Hazrat Omar al-Faruq, Hazrat Osman al-Ghani and Hazrat Ali al-Murtaza and all those who follow them until the last day. Ya yuhal mu'minun, O believers, the book of the month of Rajab is closing. And whatever we did in the month of Allah, will be sealed. The month, of our, the month of Allah, the month of planting, is about to finish. So we're going to see what kind of fruit will be born out of the seeds that we planted. The month of Raghaib and Miraj is about to leave us. And we are now going to enter to the month of the Rasulullah the month that contains in it the blessed night of Berat. 
The Holy Prophet ﷺ has warned us about being in ghaflat, being in heedlessness concerning the greatness of the month of Sha'ban. He is saying in his hadith sharif this is such a month of which people are heedless. The month that comes between Rajab and Ramazan. It is a month of greatness, especially because in it deeds are presented to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and I wish that my deeds may be presented to Allah while I'm amongst the fasting. And Holy Prophet is saying, Sha'ban is my month. Whoever respects Sha'ban respects my command. And whoever respects my command, then on the day of judgment, I will be an intercessor and a source of good for him. Sultan al Awliya Shaykh Mawlana Muhammad Nazim Adi al Haqqani Qadas Nasir is saying about this month that we are about to enter into. This month is Sha'ban Mu'azzam. Whoever pays respect to this month, his spiritual being grows stronger. He will get his share of love and longing. One doesn't have love and longing if he doesn't love the Prophet. There is no heaven for those who are not on his way. There is heaven for those on his way. Beyond these is hell. It is torment for him. O oh Lord, that is why Holy One say, you are called for service. You are created by Khaliqul Yazdan for his service. He is calling you. The creator of earth and heavens, Allah, he is calling you to his presence. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created us to be his servants. Today, nobody wants to be a servant. Everybody wants to be a master. Everybody wants to be a lord. Everybody wants to be served. The ego itself challenged Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and declared lordship in his presence. And today's egoistic mankind is doing the same. There is only one Allah. And any creature who would dare to declare his own lordship before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, such a creature will be put in his place. Honor comes from servanthood. Nobility comes from servanthood. The pleasure of Allah comes from servanthood. Muslims, they have forgotten this. Muslims have forgotten that the Holy Prophet والسلام, ascended to the Miraj because he is the ultimate example of being an Abdullah, being a servant of Allah. Servanthood in reality is the highest honor that man can reach. This is why Imam Ahmad Farukil Sirhindia Rabbani Kadansir is saying the final stage of wilayat is to attain the rank of abdiya, servanthood. Learning servanthood to Allah cannot be learned uh, through your imagination. It cannot be learned through reading books. It cannot be learned from what our fathers or mothers or teachers or other ones, they're telling us. Learning servanthood to Allah must be learned by making hizmat to those who have attained the station of Abdullah. The Sahaba Kiram, they served the Holy Prophet ﷺ with full attention and adab and love and ashq. The Tabi'een served the Sahabis, the Murids, they served their Shaykhs. And through this isnat of servanthood, there remained a link between us and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But once we broke those bonds of servanthood, we broke our bond with our Lord. Shaykh Afendi is saying, look at your sincerity. What are you looking for? When you are looking for a Shaykh to look at your sincerity, what are you looking for from that Shaykh? What is it that you are trying to get? If you are running to get some kind of extraordinary power, something that's going to make you better than other people, you are wrong. You are wrong. If you are running to become a servant, to know how to become Abdullah, then yes, you are going to follow a shaykh. And that shaykh is going to tell you, this is right and this is wrong. Do this and don't do this. So the most important thing is to concentrate on the heart to try to get rid of whatever is occupying that heart. If it's the world, then get rid of it. 
If it's other things, then get rid of it. The heart is firstly for Allah, then His Prophet and then those whom Allah and His Prophet they love. Then slowly you may have other spaces. It opens up. Because all of them that you are putting into the heart is looking to Allah. Nothing else. If you are putting the Prophet ﷺ into the heart, the Prophet is looking at Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you are putting your Shaykh, he is looking at Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. All those are looking at Allah. So in reality, it's Allah who is in the heart. That's why it is said about them, if you see them, then you remember Allah. They remind you of Allah because they are with Allah. The love comes from them to you, to us, and it enters into our hearts. You have to know what you do with that love. If you know what to do with that love, then slowly you may get used to it and you may feel familiarity because the wali Allah, the servants of Allah, the good servants of Allah, they come down to the level of very simple people to make familiar familiarity with them, to be able to come closer and to be able to send to them. But we have to know, you have to know, to put the barricades, not to pass beyond your limitations. Because after a while, sometime later, shaitan comes whispering into your heart. And then you may say, he doesn't know too much. He's just like me. If you say that, then the love that you had is out. You are saying that, you are saying, but it's not there. If that goes, then everything else slowly disappears. So many are saying, I love Allah. Where is the sign? It is easy to say that you love Allah. Say to them, Allah is saying to his holy prophet, والسلام, say to them, Ya Muhammad, وسلم, if they love, if they love Allah, then they must follow you. They must love you and follow you. That is the sign. Allah is saying, if they say that they love Allah, then they must love you and they must follow you. They must follow your orders. They must try to live like you. They must try to live the way that you are showing to them. Allah is putting there a scale for testing our love. In these days, the ignorant square-head Wahhabis are coming with so many Wahhabi ideas under the name of Ahlus Sunnah people saying, it is Hadith, it may be a weak Hadith, it may be a Gharib Hadith, it may be this Hadith. Leave everything aside. If you are thinking that it is weak, then this is Ayat. Are you going to say this is a weak Ayat? It's open. Allah is saying to us, if they love Allah, then they must love and follow you. They must follow you. Following means they must love him. You cannot follow somebody if you are not loving him. Your love is not from talking. Everything, including prophethood, comes with a proof. Love comes from action. And this kind of love, the love that produces hizmet, this is the inheritance of the Sahabi Kiram from the Sohbat with the Holy Prophet this is what the Murids have been running after for 1400 years. Ghaus Abu Madian is giving advice to everyone running after this saying, keep the company of the awliya and have adab in their assemblies. Seize the moment and always be present with them. Know that Rida, Raza, Allah's pleasure is bestowed on those who are present. Watch the shaykh carefully in his states. Perhaps a trace of his approval will be seen on you. Advance with seriousness and run to serve him. Perhaps he will be pleased. But be careful to not irritate him. The pleasure of the creator is in the shaykh's pleasure and obedience. Ghawzul Azam, Shaykh Abdul Qadil Gerani is putting his this reality in a very simple and clear way. You should pay attention to the commands of the shaykhs and act on them. They will guide you on the path of Allah. 
since they have already traveled on this path. We are trying to walk on the path of the Sahabi Kiram. This is their path. Their way is a way of service. Their inheritance is an inheritance of obedience. Their legacy, it is a legacy of ashk. In these holy months, we must run to make intention to follow their footsteps and to clear our way from everything that is going to be a barricade to this intention. We must free ourselves from the slavery of shaitan. We must become the servants of Rahman. We are asking for blessings in the holy Sha'ban with the dua of Shaykh Maulana saying, O Lord, give us that fastness, strength, love, and longing. One who doesn't have wings of love becomes the prey of a cat. With wings of divine love, one reaches to the heavens, skies, turn towards there. O Lord, forgive us. Give us strength. What we know, how much we can carry, you know best. To save us from the wastes of world, there are the awliyaullah. May they save us. May we be forgiven. Let's be with the clean ones. O Lord, forgive us. Keep the respect of this holy Shaban Muazzama so that you will open up. You will have no sickness or pain. Who has pain? Those who are eating the world. They have pain in their stomachs. Those who long for the heavens above and the servanthood of the Lord, they are clean. Janabul Haq loves clean ones. Be clean. Don't get dirty with the dirt of the world. Stay clean. The first farz of Islam is be clean. May Allah let us be with his clean servants. May our hearts shine. May we fly without wings to heavens, to skies. Amin, amin. Wa salamun ala al-mursalin. Khususan ala asayin al-mursalin. Amin. Astaghfirullah. Astaghfirullah. Astaghfirullah. Astaghfirullah. Astaghfirullah. Astaghfirullah, astaghfirullah, astaghfirullah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha ill